Hi, when you think of a machine vision system, the pro the probably the first thing that comes to your mind is the camera. But did you know that there are more critical aspects to a vision system beyond the camera? Hi, my name is Raghava Kashyapa. I'm the CEO of Qualitas Technologies. And in this video, I'm gonna break down all the different parts of a machine vision system. Okay, the first one is the camera. And the camera is responsible for taking light information through the use of a CMOS or a CCD sensor and converting that to digital information, which is pixels. But before it can do that, it needs the light to be focused on the sensor. And that's the job of the optics or the lens. Now, when you pair a lens with a camera, make sure that you're looking at compatible mounts. You know, usually a camera has a C mount or a CS mount uh, compatible lens and this, the appropriate lens mount needs to be paired. Similarly, you also need to make sure that the lens resolution and the camera resolution are also matching. Now, lenses can come in a couple of different types of uh, configurations. It can be a fixed focal lens. It could be a fixed focal, but a telecentric lens, which is a more specialized type of lens. Um, so you have a zoom lens, macro lens. So there are various lenses that you could use for your vision system. So you have to make sure that you pick the right one, which is suitable for your inspection requirement. Uh, the next one is your illumination. And this is probably the most important aspect of your vision system. So it's tempting uh, to ignore this aspect, but we've seen time and time again that the lighting plays the most critical role in ensuring a robust system which works very consistently under any conditions. And here the lighting can come in various different uh, types of configuration. Now, the shape of the light, for instance, is instrumental in determining how the light rays hit the object and reflect back into the sensor. So here again, the choice of the right type of light is very critical. So you have dome lights, you have line lights, you have ring lights, low angle lights, various types of lights. So make sure that you choose the right one, which gives you the best contrast and the best consistency under all conditions for your inspection task. So I've just described to you the parts required for image acquisition, which is the camera, the optics, and the illumination. And trust me when I say this, this is the most important part of your vision system. If you get the image acquisition part right, the rest of it is gonna be a walk in the park. Because 80% of the challenges that we've seen on the field is in image acquisition. The next part is you have a digital image, is what do you do with that? And that's the role of the image machine vision software. So the machine vision software takes this image that's been acquired by the vision system and then does some image processing to it. And here it could apply some algorithms, um, either, you know, like a, a neural network or a convolutional neural network algorithm, a CNN, to identify certain patterns or information that you are looking to inspect. So this, this software needs to run on some kind of a computational platform. And there are again various choices. You have smart cameras where the um, embedded device as well as the image acquisition device is really uh, a single unit and the software is running on this embedded device. Or it could be a PC-based system where you have a separate PC connected to you know, one or more cameras and after acquisition, the software which is running on that PC is doing the computation or image processing. Hope this video is helpful. Thanks and have a great day.